Hey guys, today's video we're going to be doing a custom intercooler. I got an order for two custom intercoolers. This one's a simple horizontal single inlet, single outlet. The next video will be on the dual inlet, single outlet, uh, twin turbo one. Uh, this one will have a lot of the fabrication stuff in it. Uh, I didn't have that much time to film, but I tried to get as much as I could, so it's kind of a time lapse deal. Uh, the next one will have more of the welding stuff, but I do have all the settings I used on the welder here in this video. Alright, hopefully you enjoy. So in this video I'm running the HTP Invertig 221. So yours might be a little different, but this is how this one's set up. So I'm on AC mode, my amperage is maxed all the way out, and then if I go here, this is what I used for tacking. It was 200 hertz and 71 balance, and I actually left 71 for my balance through the whole time. It seems to help, especially if you can't uh, wire brush your material. 71 seems best. If you have nice, clean wire brush material, 75 is fine. I could have probably gotten away with it, but I didn't want to take the chance of getting crud in the puddle. So, uh, another thing, when I'm tacking, I like that 200 hertz because it makes a narrow bead and then I'll just run like a half inch weld if it's something that's important as a tack. So I'll do a narrow half inch long bead on like the core to the actual thing so that when I'm welding, it's not gonna snap. And since it's 200 hertz, it's nice and narrow, I can weld over that. So, I used 200 hertz when I was uh, doing the fillets on the inlet and the outlet. And that's my favorite is 200 to 250, but the Invertig only goes up to 200 and it works just fine on that. But it lets me get a nice tight bead in there and it seems to help with thick to thin because you can really uh, pinpoint exactly where you want that arc. So like, I think it was, I can't remember how thick that inlet and outlet was, but it was a lot thinner than the material I was using. So that really helped for that. And then all of the butt welds, like the core to the uh, end caps, I was running at 120 hertz. And that seems to give you a real controlled bead. It doesn't want to walk around on you like it does at 60 hertz on like a transformer machine, but it's not so narrow that you're not biting into the sides of the material. So that works really nice for butt welds or lap joints. And then when I was doing the outside corners, I really liked 90 hertz because it was wide enough of an arc that it would wrap the sides of the outside corner. And it wasn't down around 50 or 60 hertz, so it wasn't wandering on you so much. Because you're on the outside corner, it seems to really control it. You helping me? No. Are you saying my shop's dirty? Yes. <laughs>
Well guys, that does it for today's video. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below. And if you want a custom intercooler or anything else, just email me. My email is in the description below also. And then subscribe if you're not and hit that bell. That way you get notified every time I upload one of these videos. I'm going to be putting that twin turbo intercooler up pretty soon. So stick around for that. Um, follow me on Instagram at 5th Street Fab if you're not already. And then check out some of my other videos. Alright, you guys have a good one.